guys. So I'm taking a break from my job, you know, about to go to the store and um, get some stuff for my dog, some shots, and stuff like that. But anyways, um, I had a thought. I just wanted to just say it. Something told me to make a video about it. But um, I had watched that movie, Soul, right? And um, I watched Foster eBay on, you know, dissect it and break it up, right? And I feel the same way that he feels on some, you know, I feel the same way he feels on a lot of points. They put a lot of subliminal things inside of our, um, they put a lot of subliminal things inside of our movies from the stuff that we watch, you know, like, of course, The Matrix, of course, you know, sometimes the, the Avatar, or Naruto, you know, Dragon Ball Z, the, the inner, you know, inner spirit. They're just different things, like from chakras to being in out your body, you know, to get out, people taking over your body, and, you know, all these things are different subliminal things, you know, like Purge coming up. Um, and we got to just make sure that we're paying attention to. Um, and... When when those guys and well when that guy and those people that was in so if you guys haven't seen so I would suggest go see it or not see it on like Netflix. But um excuse me. They it, when they go to a state of meditation, they go into the thing that's like the fifth dimension, the meeting ground place, right? And that's common for uh, a lot of different people who study meditation and who study yoga you know you, you're trying to, the whole thing is being happy, getting to a, st a state of peace and being happy in that peace, whatever brings you you know peace the most to the point that you do it unselfconsciously or Self-conscious. I don't know. You do it without even thinking about it. Those are the things that's you know close to your purpose. You guys gotta find your purpose. I have to find my purpose. I feel like um, I promote a lot of positivity. Some people ask you what is your best trait. I would say um, uplifting and promoting other people. You know, I, I I'm a great thinker when it comes to you know helping others. It's weird because. I am not good at um, uplifting, not, not fully uplifting myself, but getting myself going in a positive that's like what I love to do or what, you know, I can give great advice, but giving advice to myself, I look to others, you know, so I'm, I'm on this YouTube, I'm trying to express to you guys, you know, things that's in my head and help you hope you ha hopefully help you with your day you know that's that's because that's what i find myself good at i'm not um i'm not gonna say i'm perfect at things that's one thing that's about me hey I, i'm a person that can admit when i am not good at things and uh, one thing that some things that i'm not good at is you know speaking out for myself and as much as I am verbal on a lot of things, you know, I took have taken taken a lot of abuse, you know, not not physical, not just physical, but mental, spiritual, you know, social. Um, people out here, some people think that they're like, you know, reject rejects, or you know, people feel like they're weird. But that I feel like that's just people that's they just misunderstood. You know, growing up, I moved a lot. You know, I'm not trying to go into super, you know, depth of my life, but I just know that I went through a lot, and I've always thought about it like, hey, I'm going to, you know, shuck it off because that's only for a split second. Shame on those people that, you know, that are power struck and wants to be like, hey, I'm going to um, use my power to put you down. Because that's really just something in their self-conscious that makes them feel that, you know, this is going to bring me fulfillment if I put you down. 
which is not right, but that's the way society works. People feel like they can get that. That's what makes people get ahead if they put other people down, you know, which is really sad. But that's the world that we live in, right? Right. But that's neither um, here nor there. You guys need to, uh, if you're people that's in this family, on my YouTube family, you know, Facebook, every family, just, uh, just think about the things that we do to make ourselves feel better while we're putting down other people, you know, and try not to do it, you know, on, at, on other people's expense. Shame on the people that does it to you, that has done it to you. I, I'm sorry for, on their behalf, that they're assholes. I mean, and nothing... Karma is real. Nothing can get that get good out of people just doing that. Some people can get ahead for now, but the long term, they're you know they're gonna suffer. And that and that's not just that that's that's a culture thing too, you know. Um, white people has put this black put a, you know they say it's a it's a curse on the black people, right? The the Western civilization and and. The Bible and, you know, a whole bunch of people say that, you know, us black people put this on ourselves, quote unquote, right? Um, but they put people down, excuse me, they put people down on their own game. They put people down so they can feel good about themselves. And all in all, you know, they're not going to. They're not going to excel in, a, in, in probably on the next dimension. Right now, you know, again, it seems like this this earth is only temporary. This body that we in, you know, just like the back to the movie Soul. The people that, that the bodies that we in right now, it's only temporary, right? We already know that. Well, on the next level, do we know? You know, people that leave, believe in reincarnation, you know, people that's been on this earth before, do we know? Do we know, like, what it is to, you know, dwell on this earth and, and go to the next level? What is that? We don't know. So, um, people are probably going to suffer that's been an asshole in this, in this lifetime. I, we have to try to strive hard and um, to, to find our purpose and be positive and uplift our surroundings. Life is really not about what you do not or what you have did more so it's what you went through some people say it's what you went through or what you've seen you know and what you you know what you got through got past how strong you are because you survived that that's a big deal you know what i'm saying and but i also say it's life is about who you affect you know and who you influence and finding your happiness, your purpose. And that can that comes off a lot of self-reflection. I realized that I, that's why I love to drive. Sound crazy, but I, I used to drive from, the longest I drove was like 26 hours I, straight from Minnesota to the bottom of Texas with my girl. And she didn't know how to drive. So most of the time, I like to drive is because that's my meditation time. I get to think, get in my head and my thoughts. It's a scary thing to be be able to go into your thoughts and nobody else is in there. You know? Yeah, with no type of, just, just reflecting. You can't lead nobody until you self-reflect. That's the huge, the biggest thing. Self-reflection. And that meaning when you're wrong or when you're right. And what you need to work on and what you need to change. People don't... People don't do that enough, I don't feel. In this day and age, we should. It's more people that are that is doing it. But it, as the masses, we don't. You know? And, I'm, you know, I'm trying to promote that. Like, get you get your peace of mind. You know, understand what it is 
to have quietness all around you and to be able to uh, self-reflect and see what you need to change about yourself. Do you feel like you're perfect or you're good and you don't have to change anything? And, you know, you're naive. That's you. You should not be naive to what, you know, well, you shouldn't be naive to what everybody has. Everybody has flaws, you know? I'm not here to put down anybody's flaws, but just realizing that you have flaws and try to change them is a big deal. That's a huge step that some people cannot, couldn't do, that could, cannot do. And um, I was having a big, long discussion about, um, what was that? About... growing up in society and um, I, not being okay you cannot be outspoken right you, you can you want to talk up for yourself but while we're kids um, it can take a lot of effect if somebody is always putting you down or belittling what you're saying at a young age and it's the difference between uh, talking up for yourself and saying your idea or uh, talking back and being disrespectful. You know? Speak your mind. At the same time, I mean, if it's being, if people are being disrespectful and you're, you know, people are like, hey, you're an adult, you can speak, but and sometimes we put down and be little kids that they don't know. But they probably been here before and they do know. They probably feed off of different people's energy. And that's why they give you the energy because they feed off of other people's energy. You know? Sometimes they, they around them, they some people talk might talk bad about you. And that's why they feel some type of dislike to you. So that's why it comes off that. They want to say, speak their mind, and 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 it comes off disrespectful because they don't know how to communicate effectively. But you know that's something that needs to be taught a little differently, and you know that it's just it's 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 different. Uh, it's different, it's different uh, strokes for different folks, basically. Like it could be other people life situations that's, that that don't apply to but I'm just saying for some people who that applies to you know they have to be there at a young age they have to teach their kids or to, to speak out but not be disrespectful and not let everybody opinion influence you and still be able to speak up for yourself but not be disrespectful some people just don't know no better. You gotta, you know, just look past their ass, wipe your, wash your hands with them. That's what I realized too. That you gotta wash your hands with some people that's not worthy of being around you. You ain't ain't worthy to be around you. Fuck them. Like that's the hardest thing for some people to do is to say fuck them. That's another big deal of like, damn man. Some, sometimes you gotta say fuck them, cause we gotta vibrate on a higher plane. We vibrate on the fourth dimension, and some people still in the third, second dimension, living in the survival chakra, the lowest chakra. I mean, you can't. Some things you can't can't put up with, and you can't put up with. You know, some people you can some things you can accept and can't accept, and you can't always change people. So. Gotta say fuck them. That'd be the hardest shit, you know. But yeah, so this was just with me, real quick. I just wanted to just say that and I didn't mean to go in and you know just be switching, switching, switching. But you know, find your purpose, find yourself peace, reflect, and don't let people around you that don't deserve and being around you speak out for yourself. You know. See y'all in a little bit. Y'all stay blessed. Y'all have a great day. And um, 
again it's Ross Pizza the third power if y'all like this video thank you guys for sticking to the end like subscribe share you know what I'm saying and uh, comment let me know what y'all feel well, or drop down what y'all purpose is what y'all feel that y'all good at you know let's let's band together let's the people that is good at let's say you good at this type of business and you really feel like you good at that well I know somebody that's good at this Maybe y'all can connect, make a business. What are you good at? Oh, you good at that? Okay, well, let's connect. 